Welcome to Luxon Photography. Today we're in Hamburg and we have a very special camera with us. Here on my hands I have the Leica MD Type 262. The special thing about this camera is it doesn't have a screen and it costs actually more than the usual 262. So it has less features and costs more for those people who believe in less is more. We're going to test out this camera today here in Hamburg. We're going to photograph beautiful buildings, architecture, some crazy cars. I hope to find some crazy cars here. Hamburg is a rich city, so let's see if we can find that money on the street. And what I love to do is photographing people. So I go to photograph people on the streets. 50 millimeter f1.4, the Summerlux lens. And there is no way to see if we actually got focus, there's no way to see the image. We only have an ISO wheel to set the ISO. We have the shutter speed here a button to take the picture and that's it there is no menu it doesn't shoot jpeg only raw no white balance setting whatsoever uh, this is as pure as you can get with a digital camera it's a digital camera with an analog heart and today i'm going to see and find out is it actually practical and what does it do with the user experience the last cameras that i used in the same places that we go to today is the Fuji X100B, it's the Canon EOS R5, it's the Canon EOS R6 and the Leica M10. Today the MD262 and in a couple of weeks the M10D. So we go to the same places with all of these cameras. So you can see in the videos how great is this camera, how do the images look here, how there. I also make a video with all images unedited and a video how I edit all images so you can see exactly how I get to the images. today in the shooting experience, but then later in the editing as well. So let's go. So the most honest way for me to test the camera, photographing people, is actually to go out on the street, talk to people on the streets and do a photo shoot with them. Not, not everybody says yes, like this couple I talk to, they say no. Uh, but every no brings me closer to a yes. So just, <laughs> We are still at the same place, so I see another person, this girl here, I talk to her to get her into a photo shoot, and she also says no. No problem, every no leads me closer to a yes, and so this couple I approach just on the other side of the street, and they say yes. I'm here in Germany, so all the talk will be in German in the video. But I wanted to give you some more information about what I'm doing here and about the camera. So I will talk over this video to give you some insight and experience with this very unique camera, the Leica MD Type 262. And I will just talk a little bit about the experience. Now I just got sent the camera a day earlier by a photography store called Photo Girls. He saw a video of mine and he asked me if I ever like to test a Leica camera, he would send it to me. And that was a really generous offer because the camera, the lens he sent me, the MD with the 50mm 1.4 Sunilux lens is a 8000 euro combination. And I was really felt honored to be able to use it. So this is not the first time I, I use it. There is, no way, there is no way to see the images. Uh, all images are saved on the card, so it's a digital camera, but there is no screen. There is no menu. It doesn't shoot JPEG. There is no white balance to choose. It's all the white balance is only raw. There is no screen. There is no way to look at the images until you are on the computer. So I have no idea about the images I'm taking now. Also, the focusing is all manual. So shooting it for 1.4, which I like to do if I have a lens that I uh, I want to shoot it at 1.4 to see can I handle it. Do the images actually turn out okay or am I off focus all the time? I wanted to see if I buy this camera. Does it make sense to buy a 1.4 lens? Or is the shallow depth of field so thin that I could work with, it, with real people who yeah. don't stand still necessarily. So this is the first photo shoot. It's in the morning. We just arrived in Hamburg. I have someone with me who films me. And I wanted to show you how I approach the people and how I take the images. So you really see how is it to use this camera. And I always give you the image I take, so you really see, did he get the focus right or did he miss? 
And so let's go together one day here in Hamburg. We will do many photo shoots like this. We have a variety of people. We want to photograph cars, we want to photograph architecture. We want to photograph a variety of things to get a feeling. Is this a camera that sits on your shelf that you look at? Or if it's a camera that you can actually use and shoot with when you come from modern technology. The last cameras that I had kind of with the same stuff I'm doing here now is the Canon R5, the Canon R6, Leica R10, the Fuji X100V and the Fuji X Pro 3. So this is where I'm coming from. And so the Leica has to kind of live up, live up to the user experience of those cameras. And the comfort of those cameras, which kind of kind of all have face detection uh, besides the like 10 but all the other cameras have face detection focus gets really easy here with the manual focusing I have to be very careful focusing so I get the eye in focus and not the nose Ja, perfekt. Ich, ich, ich kann euch die Bilder nicht zeigen. Vom, Alles ähm, gut. Ich finde das ja, cool, das dass du das machst. Schönes dabei. Ja, ich, also ich fotografiere auch später die Elbphilharmonie, zumindest von außen. Ah, ja. Ja, cool. Also Toll. so ein bisschen so was Hamburg so ja. zu bieten hat. Aber ja. ich finde so. So, I think that worked pretty well. Uh, we're now headed into the second photo shoot. I just saw a couple that I think look really nice, and we turned around and I just followed them and. I always go into these situations with an open heart and with a lot of love and the people feel that and most of them will then say yes and agree to a photo shoot. The people can buy the images later. This is how I started kind of my photography um, career, so to say, to make money with photography like this. Or I send them the images for free, which I do today because I want to show these images and use these images to show on my website, on my YouTube channel. So when I can show the images, I always give them the images for free. So thanks again to Photo Girlins, it's a photography store that focuses on Leica cameras and Leica gear in general and who has kind of the most crazy Leica stuff in his store. He got the used stuff and new stuff and he got special editions like the Leica Ghost or the Safari edition. He got lenses like the Noctil Lux 50mm Zero. 0.95 very special gear that you cannot find in many places he got it so if you ever are in germany and look for a leica whether used or new take a look at photo Girlitz website and you will find all the greatest stuff leica has to offer okay you see me i'm right in the photo shoot i want to show you how far am i away from the people can i get the focus right um, and how long does it take to get the focus. What can I do so the people laugh and feel relaxed? This is why I got someone with me here to film me. So you really got a feeling of, okay, how workable is this camera? Uh, can I do a photo shoot like I would with another normal camera, like I'm used to the <laughs> Canon stuff, Canon full frame cameras. Can the Leica MD hold up to this in kind of speed, reliability, focusing, image quality, look of the files and so the images you see here are kind of black and white but at the end of this video i put all images in color so you have both both kinds the black and white now and the color images at the end of the video all images that you see are edited in five seconds using my lightroom presets if you are interested in it i put a link in the description below you can get over 40 presets for under 40 euros you don't need to use my presets you can use any presets presets are a great way to get to final results fast in Lightroom, or Capture One, or Lumia, or any other editing program. And they give you a constant look. So all the images, all the black and white images have the same look here. Because I select the black and white preset, copy it to all the other images. The Leica MD only shoots raw. And the question is, you cannot set any white balance, you cannot set anything in camera. And so the question is, how do the images look like unedited straight from the camera? I have created a whole Lightroom video where you see in Lightroom exactly how all the images from this day look like and then how I edit them so they look like the ones that you see in this video. Yeah,
Und sch sch schaut noch mal zueinander. Ja, ja. Dann soll ich mich da am besten da anlehnen oder so? Weil ja. Ich mach das ja immer so gerne. Als, als Mann ist immer. Ich stehe mich ja immer so irgendwie so lehnen, oder? Ist das der Hintergrund? Ja, ist gut. Ich habe ähm, hab jetzt einfach deinen Kopf und Oberkörper. Ja. Und sch schaut auch noch mal zueinander. Ja, schön so. Und ich mache eins, wo du ganz drauf bist. Einmal. Ja. Und schau noch mal zu mir. Ja, schön. Ja, perfekt. Ich kann euch die Bilder nicht zeigen. Ich kann die Bilder erst am Computer ja. sehen. Ja. Ähm, aber es ist eine digitale Kamera, weil ja. sie ist so gemacht für Leute, die, die mhm. wie eine analoge Kamera ja. das Gefühl haben wollen. Ja. Und, schön. Ähm, No, success is a numbers game, and I wanna, when, I, when I want to photograph people on the streets, I have to go into that where my fear is. The fear is a signal for me personally what's important to me. If I'm not, af I am not afraid to talk to uh, an old woman, and whether she likes me or not, says yes or no, doesn't matter. But talking to a young girl or a beautiful young, younger woman, that is not so easy for most Positive people because nice. you don't want to yeah. be rejected. But the rejection is part of the success, kind of. Every no leads to another yes. It's getting me close. I just got a no from these two girls. Now I talk to the next group here, and I receive a yes. If I had not tried to, to get the, to the girls to the no, I would maybe probably not have gotten to this yes. So I know if I want to photograph 10 photo shoots on the streets without any preparation, at any time, at any weather, at any month, From January to December, what yeah, I need really to nice do is place, really, I need to talk to uh, 10 really couples nice and I know that from visit. these 10, we can just do it right here. Okay. for me um, personally, five will say yes. yes. These two said yes. Uh, the yeah. ones before yeah. said no. I have a 50-50 uh, ratio. Have When have you start this, maybe you don't get 50% so success rate. Maybe you get 20% success rate. So if you talk to 10 couples, only two say yes. But if you talk to 50 couples, 10 say yes. So The more Completely no's you get, frame. also the more look, yeses look, you get. You other. learn from it, but can you do better? Yeah, really, really and, nice. and I have you created a whole other, workflow. Now the people can buy the images. <laughs> Just and I show you in the okay, workflow yeah, how I do it and how they can buy the images all yeah, automated. Okay. I don't have to send an email. Now in this case, everybody gets all images for free because I love it. I film it, I show these images here for you to learn from this. But Sorry, because I, I, I use these images now to, for presentation so, uh, and I put them into my blog uh, about the camera, you know, there, so everybody gets all images so for free. It's, it's and I love it. It's a trip. And yeah. I want to be an inspiration really special, in photography. Right? That's more important to me than to me. I want to yeah. be somebody. Really nice like one day somebody comes up to me and says, You inspired me, you touched me, you put me on a path to XYZ in photography. That's what I want. I don't care about the money so much. I rather care about making an impact in this thing. Called photography. So I have to do everything here with that. <laughs> And I can take some pictures of, of each of you yeah. solo. Uh, I can take some of you just here. And maybe when you come over here yeah. and when you when you look at each other, it's always nice when you look at someone that, uh, that you know and that, that, you, that you like. And look look to me. Some, some memories yeah. of, of Hamburg. Very nice. 
Where are you from Denmark? Uh, in Weile. It's mid, mid in Denmark. Oh, okay. Is it a big place? Uh, no, not compared to Hamburg. Okay, only like 15,000. Uh, 50,000. Oh, so it's, uh, so it's quite small compared. But you, you both live there? Yeah. yeah. That's a really nice idea to go uh, traveling with a with good friend. Can uh, also look to each other? I can't show any images. No, uh, that's okay. It's, uh, it's, you can only see the images on the computer screen. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Ich zeige euch mal, wie das ausschaut. Ich habe immer ein paar Bilder auf dem Handy dabei. Gib du mal. Also, das ist, ist, ist was sehr Spezielles. Und äh, wenn ihr Lust habt, mache ich ein paar Fotos von euch einfach hier. Und ich schicke euch die Bilder als, als Download-Link in Farbe und Schwarz-Weiß. So ungefähr, wie, sie, wie ich euch gerade gezeigt habe. Und ich packe ein paar von den Bildern mit in das Video und, äh, auf meinen Blog. Habt ihr Lust? Ja, also, wie lange dauert das ungefähr? Ein, 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 zwei Minuten. Rucki zucki. Eine Minute oder mehr. Ja, ist gut. Pack ruhig die Becher hin, hinter euch, dass, dass sie vers versteckt sind. Ihr könnt eigentlich so, so sitzen bleiben. Ich schau mal einmal. Ja, schaut doch gut aus. Habt ihr Eis gegessen? Ja. <lacht> ja, ne, solange der Sommer noch da ist. Richtig. Ja, schön. Und schaut noch mal zueinander. Ja, sehr, sehr schön so. Ja, genau, sie sieht jetzt die gleiche Pose. <lacht> Und sonst vielleicht eins im Stehen, ein, einfach hier, dann haben wir, sind wir ein bisschen weg von der Baustelle. Jetzt kann ich mal einmal schauen. Oder stellt euch hier einmal hin. Dann sind, haben wir nicht die, die ganzen Bausachen hier. Ja, schau mal. Ja, schön. Und äh, einmal so. Das ist cool. Ja, das ist schön. Und schaut noch mal so ein bisschen zu dieser Figur, zur Statue rüber. Und stellt euch vor, da kommen eure, eure Traummänner vorbei. Oh. <lacht> ja, schön so. Und ich, ich mach mal ein, ein, einmal von dir alleine, dann habt ihr ein Bild auch von jedem Einzelnen. Dann kann man hier das Start stellen. Oh, der Vogel. Ja, schön. Und auch, auch einmal von dir. Man wird wenig vom Hintergrund sehen. Man, hat das hauptsächlich, man sieht hauptsächlich euch und der Hintergrund ist verschwommen. Ja, schön. Und vielleicht ein allerletztes einfach hier nochmal. So, und dann ist schon Goodie Goodie. Müsst ihr gleich den Bus kriegen? Oder? Nee, wir müssen wieder ins Büro. Ah, okay. Und sind Pause ist dabei. Ah, ist ja noch nicht Samstag, ne? Nee, richtig. Ja, ich guck noch einmal hier so. Ich denke, ich gehe noch mal einen Schritt zurück. Auch einmal so. Ja, schön. Ich gehe noch mal einen Schritt zurück. Dann habe ich euch einmal ganz drauf. Weil du hast ja gerade die, die Nägel gemacht, ne? Ja, ganz ungewöhnlich Eindruck. Mache ich normalerweise nicht. Aber sieht sie doch gut aus. Bist du bist gerade grad fertig geworden? Äh, nein, mir fehlen noch zwei. Ah, zwei fehlen noch zwei? Zweieinhalb. Ja. Und, äh, ich, Soll ich da einfach so weitermachen und du machst wer das? Äh, also, oder? oder mach kurz Pause. Ja, das würde ich glaube ich auch machen. Ich, ich guck mal eben, äh, ich muss ja per Hand alles einstellen, deswegen bin ich ein bisschen langsam. Ich schau mal einmal so. Guck, guck. Ja, okay. schön so. Okay. Ähm. Ja, ist schön so. Wo ist der Vogel? Und schau noch mal einfach so ein bisschen in die, in die Ferne. Ja. Das ist auch ganz schön, wenn der Blick so ein bisschen abseits der Kamera ist. Stell dir vor, da kommt gerade dein, dein Traummann auf dich zu. Ja, ist schon so. Und ich, ich gehe noch einen Schritt zurück. Da schaut eigentlich das ist weg. Oh ja, das macht nicht so einen guten Eindruck. Aber alles, alles ist, ist sehr schön mit dem Baum hier. Okay, das geil. Und, äh, so habe ich den einmal ganz, ganz drauf. Kommst du hier aus Hamburg? Ja, von mir. Aus der Nähe? Ja, das ist meine Welt. Ah, ja. ja, schön. 
Und bist, bist du alleine heute hier oder triffst du ich, dich noch? Ich warte noch auf jemanden. Ah, ja. <lacht> Deswegen, ja, ich warte es halt zu verkürzen. Ah, ja. Aber du, du musst nicht äh, zur Arbeit gehen jetzt oder so? Ne? Nein, 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 mein Studium beginnt erst. Ich Ach. bin noch nicht. Äh, genau, im Moment ist noch Pause, aber in ein paar Tagen geht es noch los. Zu studieren? Mhm, genau, das ist dann das erste Semester. Also Ende Oktober fängt es dann an. Was, was, was studierst du da? Medizin. Ah ja, oh, ja schön. Medizin, Medizin. Genau. Willst du dann Ä Ärztin werden? Ja, das wäre schön, ja. wenn das klappen könnte. Bis dann noch. Das dauert noch weiter, ne? Ja, ich glaube so sechs bis acht Jahre mindestens noch retten. Also ich glaube eher zehn, aber mal schauen. Okay. Ja, Medizin, Jura, das sind so echt lange, lange ja. Wege, ne? Und wenn du willst, vielleicht eins im Stehen noch? Ja. Wir können, wir können ruhig hier, hier im Grunde bleiben. Ja. Ja, Medizin ist bestimmt auch sehr zeitaufwendig. Ja, ne? ja, das äh, ja. denke ich auch. Großfreude. Oder sonst auch? Gehen Sie einfach mal an den Wagen, zeitlich, dass wir das heute hier schauen. Ja, ist schon so. Und ich schau mal an. Ja. So. Bam. So. Und ich, ich teste halt für mich, wie weit man hier überhaupt Leute fotografieren kann mit der, mit der Kamera. Weil man alles, okay. per, alles ja. per Hand hier einstellen muss. Ja, ist schon so. Und ich fahre nochmal zu mir. Gudi, gudi. Ja, ist schön. Und auch einmal in die andere Richtung. Ja, dann, geht, dann hast du jetzt Urlaub sozusagen, ne? Du bist frei. Wobei als Student ist man ja auch relativ frei. Ich hoffe. Wobei Medizin ist auch nicht ohne. Ja, das, das denke ich auch. Da wird bestimmt noch was auf mich zukommen. Vielleicht ein, ein letztes noch hier mit Sonne. Einmal so gegen. Komm ruhig noch mehr zu mir. Ja. Ich denke einfach hier. Ja, so. so. Genau. Ja, schön. Ja, perfekt. Du hast nicht eine Sonnenbrille dabei, ne? Nein, leider nicht. Alles gut. Nein. Ich kann dir die Bilder gar nicht zeigen jetzt. Ja, ähm, das ist okay. Ich habe sie gestern, hab erst, schon fast gedacht. gestern erst bekommen und dann so ein bisschen für mich fotografiert, um zu gucken, ob, das überhaupt, ob ich da überhaupt was scharf kriege, wenn ich das alles per Hand einstelle. Aber ja, ich denke, es, die Bilder werden ungefähr so ausschauen, wie die, die ich dir gezeigt habe. Okay. Hast Like the king and the queen, living more than just life and above the dream. But without the love for life, and we're above the skyline, they just fly beside us. Went from boy and girl to wife and husband, finally life became fantastic. The lovers couples can meth with take love like addicts. Without you, I panic. Without you, I couldn't handle this stuff in my heart. Cause I had to separate those who fuck and who love. Cause most smiles ain't real, less words get lost. And you have found the love I want, and it's worth all costs. Like the king and queen, living more than just life and above the dream. Like the prince and the princess, and we love each other, even though we. So, these two with the dog also say yes, the girl before also said yes, I think we got some beautiful images with her and I'm really, I did this now very very often, thousands of times and you will find on this channel alone over 500 videos just about the street photography here from Italy and from Spain and from the Netherlands and from Greece and from Germany and from the UK and from other countries. Where I do this and often film myself with my left hand, but I wanted to show you also how I talk, how I approach the people. So you really see this is not a setup, this is a real moment. And I really love being most in photography. So I don't like writing emails, I don't like setting up a date and a time, where to meet and at what location. And what should we wear, and what if the weather isn't good. All this, I really don't care. I leave it to other people, let other people talk about this in Facebook groups. Uh, I don't want to spend time on that. I want to get right to the photo shoot within a minute. I see these two with the dog. I think, man, this would be a beautiful picture for them. So I, I always think about myself. What if I am here with my girlfriend? A day in Hamburg, tourist. We have a great time, we dress up nice and enjoy, go to the restaurant, go shopping. 
And the photographer came to us and would take some images of us that look like this. Would that be something that I like? And I personally love images. I have very rare images of me and my girlfriend and my son. So that would be a phenomenal service if that would, if that somebody would do to us. That would be a phenomenal service. Approaching us, offering us a photo shoot and giving us the images for free or we can buy them later. That would be an incredible service. So because I feel that, I, al I also think that others might feel that too. That they see these images and they think, oh, these are nice images. We don't have so many images with our dog, especially not in Hamburg from that day. We only have a couple of selfies, but they all look the same because it's always the same lens, it's always the same distance, it's always from the hand, uh, just a meter away or less. And this makes it so easy for me to talk to people on the streets in any country. Uh, anywhere, because I always think about me and my girlfriend and how we would appreciate if somebody came to us and did it. If you want to hear me play guitar and breath, this yeah. is how it sounds like. So what I wanted to do was to photograph people. I think that we did right now. So let's go to the next area. The next thing is I want to photograph cars. And this street where I'm standing right now with the Louis Vuitton and Gucci store, where there are always people in front of the store uh, waiting in line, which is there are always people right here okay. in the line waiting, which is really crazy. Uh, anyway, usually there are many crazy cars in this street. Right now it's kind of empty. There are cars, but not what I'm looking for. But we'll see. So let, this is a nice small moment, a quiet moment, so I can talk a little bit about the camera. You hear the shutter sound. It's a really nice sound. And you see, it doesn't really take much time to focus the camera. Uh, I only picked up the camera the day before this. I picked up the phone, called someone, hey, do you want to come with me, film me in Hamburg? And then the next day, which is this day, this is the first time I pick up the camera. I see there is a car coming, a Bentley Bentayga. I zone focus on two and a half meters and click the button. And without holding up the camera to my face, I can use this camera. This is the way it's called zone focusing, which many street photographers did back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. They they focus the camera on kind of one and a half meters, two meters. So everything that's one and a half meters away is in focus. And then they walk along the sidewalk and when the something interesting comes along, maybe a beautiful woman with a dog or an old woman with a cigar in her mouth and she was about one and a half meters away, you then click the shutter but you click it from your hip. You don't put it to your face because then it's obvious you take a picture. You use the zone focusing to photograph and this way nobody really sees you taking pictures. So the MD is a phenomenal camera. This is the first day and I got so many keepers, which means there are so few images where the focus was off. I mean, I'm shooting f1.4 kind of all the time when I photograph the people and the buildings. I go to f8, f5.6. I go to any f-stop with the buildings. With the cars, I also tend to go wide open f1.4, f2.0. And so I'm really amazed how well the focusing is. The focusing is so easy on a Leica camera, on the M system. It's a rangefinder. I have the Canon 60 Mark II, the RP, the 5DSR, and some other Canon cameras. And I never really, when I want to photograph manually, which I have to do with these M cam cameras, I never really see where the focus is on the Canon cameras. Even, even with the Zebra, and with the, uh, I, the, I really cannot get the focus right, or there is still a part that doesn't really, that isn't sure. Am I now? Do I have the face in focus at f1.4 or not? With the Canon cameras, it's very difficult, even with the new ones. With this Leica camera, even with the older ones, it's so easy to see if you are in focus or not. And I think this video shows pretty well, uh, because I wanted to 
get a real world experience. It doesn't make sense for me to meet with a model who knows I have this camera for the first time, who knows I have to photograph manually, who knows there is no screen to check focus, who knows and acts accordingly to help me get focus. These people, they don't care about me having to photograph manually. They, they just act like they would act no matter what camera. So I want to have a real world experience. And the realist is just to go on the streets and doing it with strangers. It's like a musician. When you want to be a musician and you don't have a gig, you don't have a club that wants you to play there, go out on the street and just do it the hard way. Sometimes the hard way kind of is the easiest. On a day like this, I get to 10 to 15 photo shoots without any preparation, without writing any email. The people can buy the images afterwards so I can make 300, 400, 500 euros on a Friday or on a Saturday without any preparation and without having to write any email. Everything happens automatically. So the buying process and the sending the images process, I don't send them the images by hand. This is all happening on the computer software. Uh, I only take the images, edit them, upload them, and then I get some, some emails where it says person A ordered these images for this amount of money as a download and so on. And this is a business that I started for myself and I can control my income by the number of people I photograph. Again, all these people get all the images for free because I film it, but usually I don't film it, I don't show the images, and I only do it for the people and they can buy it. And I can control my income this way. In the link in the description below, you will find the workflow that I use, what I say to the people, what I do so they say yes, how much money do I actually make on a day like this when the people can buy the images. You all get that from the video. Und vielleicht ein, ein letztes noch mal einfach hier, hier im Stehen und äh, wir bleiben einfach hier in der, im Schatten und vielleicht wenn, wenn du dich hinter sie stellst und sie, sie einfach umarmst. Ja, schön so. Ja, das sieht jetzt sehr schön aus. Ja, schön. Und gib mir noch mal ein Küsschen einfach so. Und ich, ich gehe noch mal einen Schritt zurück, dann habe ich euch noch mal ganz drauf. <lacht> Leben am Limit hier. zusammen und schaut einmal beide zu mir. Guck mal eben, das ist hier. Ich brauche ein bisschen, um das hier einzustellen. Einmal schwuppdiwuppdiwupp. Guti, guti. Ja, schön. Und schön eng zusammen, dass ihr viel, viel Kontakt habt. Ja, schön. Ich komme noch mal ein bisschen näher. Man, man wird nichts drumherum sehen. Also man wird keine Leute sehen, die hier, die hier rumlaufen. Ja, schön so.
Und sonst, sonst gib, gib ihr noch einen Kuss einfach auf die Stirn. Ja, sehr, sehr schön. Und einmal umgekehrt auch. Ja, schön so. Und vielleicht auch einmal, wenn, ähm, wir mal, wenn du dich einfach hier anlehnst, einfach so, und du lehnst dich an sie ran, dass, dass ihr schön zusammen seid. Ja, schön so. Ja, sehr, sehr schön. Und sch schaut beide noch mal so ein bisschen in die Ferne, einfach so ein bisschen abseits, abseits der Kamera. Auch ganz schön. Denkt einfach an Gemüse zu <lacht> Und sonst gibt gib ihr noch einen Kuss auf die Wange. <lacht> ja, schön so. Sehr, sehr schön. Und um, umgekehrt auch. Schön. Und sonst schaut einmal beide zu mir. Dass, ihr euch, dass du dich einmal umdrehst. Und ähm, ja, schön. So. Ja, so ein cooles Ich, ich kann die Bilder nicht, nicht zeigen. Ähm, ich kann das erst am Computer sehen, äh, wie, die, wie die Bilder ausschauen. Ich schau einmal. Äh, ich, ich denke, ich denke, es vielleicht die beiden. Ja, ich, ja okay. <lacht> Hallo. Hi, ich bin Fotograf und ich mache so spontane Südfotografie. Ja, dann habt ihr ein schönes Wochenende. So there's one question and that is, does this camera make actually any sense? Now I'm holding here around 8000 euros for a camera and a lens. And when I look at any camera manufacturer like Canon, Nikon, Sony, Fuji, and I put 8000 euros, 8000 dollars on the table, I get a lot for this money. I get a, a, I get a couple of cameras plus lenses plus extra batteries. So in terms of what you get for your money, um, many will give you more quantity wise. Now quality wise, let me go into this a little bit. There are two areas. One is the user experience while taking the image and the other is the actual final image, the image quality. Talking about image quality, I don't see this camera being better than any other camera, like a Sony A7 series camera, a Canon EOS R series camera, or a Nikon Z series camera. I think this ca the MD and the other M cameras are better than the Fuji cameras, the, the APS-C ones. But in terms of full frame, like Canon, Nikon, Sony, They are all much cheaper than the Leica M cameras and they offer at least the same level of image quality, if not even better. So image quality is not necessarily why you go with a Leica camera. Uh, the, the, the technical aspects of the camera, especially not this camera without a screen, that is not why you go into Leica. The Leica is for the user experience. I'm not here taking these images for the images. I do it because I love the process of taking photos. I want to be part of the image taking process and when I have a Canon EOS R in my hands or a Nikon Z7 or a Sony A9, I am no longer part of the process. The cameras do everything on their own. As long as the face of a person is in the frame, I push the button and the face will be in focus. I don't have to do anything. So the feeling I have while I'm taking pictures is so great with this Leica MD because I am part of the process. I deserve an image. I, I work for the image. I have to use my hands and let photography be handcraft, craftsmanship again. Not just technology with the eye autofocus, face detection, all the technical stuff that is in the most modern cameras. It makes it easy to get an image and get a great image, but the user experience gets lost because you are no longer part of the image taking process. Welcome to Nexon Photography and we now have spent the day in Hamburg. Thanks to Daniel who helped me get the photo shoots on camera and how you actually can see how I talk to strangers on the streets and then photograph them. This camera that I'm holding here now is the Leica MD Type 262. And now usually it's very difficult to use this 
with one hand. I can do this now because now is the moment where I photograph buildings, architecture and actually I put the autofocus to infinity which means everything that's further away than five meters will be sharp. So all the buildings here are further away than five meters so all the buildings will be sharp and I can film myself with my left hand and I can take pictures with my right hand. Now this camera let me just talk a little bit about it. Came out around 2016, so it has a couple of years. It's a couple of years old. And the price of this combination, the lens costs around three and a half thousand euros, kind of four thousand, three and a half, and the camera around three, uh, around four to five thousand euros. So we're looking at a price tag of seven, eight thousand euros um, of this combination. Now for this price, you get a lot with any camera manufacturer, looking at Nikon, Sony, Fuji, Olympus, Pentax, any of these brands will give you a kind of big package of photography uh, with this amount of money. Now with the, with the Leica MD you only get one camera one lens and you don't have a screen and you don't have a menu and there's a lot that you don't have. You don't have JPEGs. This is a camera for those who have it already all and who want to live a little bit of minimalism and so this is the camera for people who have already so much that any new camera with all the technical advantages is not exciting to me there is a feeling when I take pictures that feeling is pretty much connected to how deep am I connected to the picture taking process so let me explain when the camera does everything for me and I don't have to do anything I just have to hold the camera in the right direction pull the trigger the auto ISO takes care of exposure the face detection takes care of autofocus that the faces are in focus when I have this all then the feeling I have while I'm taking pictures is really not that special I'm looking for a special feeling I'm looking for an emotion within me I'm not looking for the best pictures this camera like any Leica camera is not the best picture producing tool when we talk about cameras. Now when we put in the lenses, that's another thing. Leica lenses are phenomenal. For many decades, Leica lenses are kind of the best there are. They also have a huge price tag, so you get what you pay for. You pay a lot and you get a lot. But the camera itself, it's really not that special in terms of sensor quality, dynamic range, ISO, no autofocus, no JPEG. So there is a lot that this camera cannot do and there is something that this camera can do and that is giving you a feeling. This camera gives me a really great emotion. I just had in the last month a variety of cameras that are all special by themselves. The Canon R5, the new flagship, the Canon R6, the Leica M10, the Fuji X100V. All these cameras I had in the exact same places I'm walking now and all these cameras gave me a great feeling in a certain way but none of them gave me a feeling like the Leica did, the MD. I had the M10, which already was great. The MD is even better, although it's an older camera, although it's not as capable as the M10. It is a, such a beautiful experience. And in the other moments of today where I was filmed, when I photographed the people, I didn't talk much. Now I may talk over the video after the video is done. So when you see the video, I may talk over it. But I thought, let me just vlog a little bit, as long as I can hold this full frame mirrorless camera here. Uh, and take some more pictures just in this uh, different perspective. So you see how I walk around. So this camera is now set to infinity, which means everything is sharp that's further away than five meters. And I'm now just walking around here, the new harbor. We have beautiful light. The sun is setting, sun is getting pretty low. We have a beautiful atmosphere here. Friday evening, a lot of people are relaxed, have a great time, many tourists here. And so for me, it's just time to take the last shots of today. So I'm pretty big on experience. So when, I looking, when I'm looking at a camera, there's the technical aspect, which you find on most reviews, the technical aspects. How many megapixels, how many frames per second, how, what about dynamic range, how many card slots, how is the battery life, uh, this and that and that. And this is all true, this makes a camera uh, 
but it's not everything one thing is the feeling and the feeling to me is uh, very special I'm at a point where the technical aspects of a camera don't really matter anymore um, I can take great pictures with any camera and I say this out of experience not out of idea so I have the experience that I can take great images with any camera if I can take any uh, great images with any camera the te technical aspects of the camera no longer matter this much ISO performance doesn't really matter frames per second to me don't really matter what matters is the feeling I'm looking for a feeling and I want something different I want something beautiful and this camera is really really delivering in that area now it's very difficult for me to explain why this camera that costs so much and kind of can do so little on the spec sheet how this gave me an emotion the whole day that I didn't have even with the R5 even with the R6 kind of even with the Leica M10 so let me see if I can put this down here Boop. no so you've now have seen me taking pictures so you now saw me take pictures with the Leica MD we will also take some images with the Leica M10D which is kind the newest like a camera without screen and compare these cameras but my feeling this camera feels so great it feels so solid and kind of new and modern uh, it doesn't feel like a camera that's old and I'm really excited to take a look at the M10D but I don't think there is much else I need now better image quality higher megapixel that is not actually what I need uh, that's not what I need uh, I need or what I want that's a feeling and this camera really delivers and so I'm going to stop now filming and I always do three videos with these kind of videos so the one video is where I show you how I take the images this is this video and another video I show you all the images unedited and another video I show you the raw files how I edit them to, to get to the images that you see in this video to the final image I edit very quickly kind of five second edits and you can do this too and I show you in the video yeah
Went from boy and girl to wife and husband Finally life became fantastic you and me. The lovers couples can meth with Take off like addicts without you I panic without you I couldn't handle this stuff in my heart Cause I had to separate those who fuck and who love Cause most smiles ain't real less words get lost And you have found the love I want and it's worth all costs you and me. Like the king and queen living more than just life in the buff the dream you and me. Like the prince and the princess and we love each other even though we've been dressed you and me. Like the husband and the wife making life so precious without money but a child you and me. The lovers couples can meth with take love like addicts without you are panic The king for my kingdom, the prince for my bed This is what I found in you The father for my child, the boy in my past is you Alright now close my eyes and remember you When you're gone I have to depend on you And when you leave I'm left with just some, some of your pictures. pictures But I can't talk to them either squeezing like I did Yeah, I'm the baby, you my mother beside me Protect me at night, even in my dreams you guide me Life was nothing until you gave sense to it And as long as we're together there's no end to it Now I love you From the bottom of my heart I say I love you From the bottom Like the king and the queen, living more than just life and above the dream You and me Like the prince and the princess and we love each other even though we've been dressed You and me Like the husband and the wife making life so precious